guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm really excited because we're going to make a Vampirella costume. What, you don't know who she is? <laughs> Give me a sec. There you have it. Vampire gorgeousness. Oh, I'm so in love. And to be honest, I had no clue who Vampirella was until my favorite photographer looked for a model for a photo shoot. And in case you don't know yet who my favorite photographer is, it's Jana Freya, of course. She takes amazing pictures, not only from me, but from anybody. If you follow me on Instagram, you might have seen already some of her pictures. I shared them the whole time because I really love her work. And by the way, she also accepts edit commissions. So if you want to edit some pictures and you don't know how, go here. Go here. So Jana Freya was looking for a model for a Vampirella photo shoot and as soon as I saw the picture I volunteered. So now we need a costume and we don't have much time. So let's get on to business. Are you ready? Let's get started. So for this project I'm just gonna use some leftover fabric. The neck of a old shirt and a ring. This is a curtain ring. It was originally black but I spray painted it to be white and a swimsuit or bodysuit for making the pattern because I have no clue how to make patterns and of course I forgot the thread, the scissors and I have no clue where the stuff is so I'm going to first leave this to the side <laughs> And we're gonna make the base of the costume, which is basically a bodysuit. So I'm gonna put the fabric there and use a bodysuit to draw the shape. I'm gonna draw it a bit bigger because this is really tight. And we also have to leave a swing allowance. Well, and actually we want this to be open like this. Now I'm going to fold this in half to make it symmetrical. And now we are going to cut this open this and try it on yeah I know you think I'm crazy when I say try it on but yeah we're just going to take the thing and and check if everything's perfect I'm gonna cut like really big shape for now I'm gonna leave it like this and we're gonna make the back part so we are doing basically the same take again the piece of fabric and the bodysuit and draw the shape fold this in half and cut again and now for the back part, I would like it to go a bit down like that. So let's try. Woo! This looks giant, but trust the process. So now we're gonna take uh, the back part and the front part, right side against right side, pin this together. Then we have to pin this side and this side, and we can try it on. Now ignore the fact that I'm trying this over my clothes and it looks horrible. This is perfect. The back fits too. If you see that it fits, you can sew it with a machine. And that's what we're gonna do now. I'm gonna make a normal stitch in a zigzag stitch to prevent the fabric from breaking. Good, now we're gonna try it on again. And I'm basically going to hem this edge here because this is already good. And also here, how I want this to be. Perfect. Pin it in place so it doesn't move. And I'm gonna cut this a bit more up. It's a bit weird now, but trust the process, trust the process. And now we can cut the edges and give this a better shape. As always, to make this symmetrical, I'm gonna fold this in half and cut the same shape. And now we're going to take the whole edge all around the bodysuit, all the edges, and we're going to fold them once, fold them twice, pin in place, and repeat all along the edge, all around all the edges. And now we are going to sew this with a normal stitch. Now the Vampirella one is a really sexy costume, so I'm going to cut more fabric. I'm just gonna leave this part a bit bigger because, you know, it has to cover a bit of boob. <laughs> and of course, we have to do the same on both sides. So, fold it in half. And now again, we're going to hem the edge to the top part. And when it's done, we're going to sew the edge again with an almost stitch. Now for the neck, I'm just gonna use the neck of a shirt that I wasn't wearing anymore and I literally cut it. The rest of the video I'm going to explain you wearing an actual swimsuit because if not it would be too weird. <laughs> so I'm just gonna take the ring behind, pass it through and I'm going to glue it here in the back with hot glue. There. 
And the other side, it's gonna be a bit different because we have to close this somehow. For the other part here, I'm going to use a broken bra. Cut the hook and the loop. So we have the hook and the loop, making sure it fits and just glue it there with hot glue or sew it. And now we will be able to put this on and take it off. Amazing. But now we just have to do the same with the two sides of the bodysuit. Pass through the loop and this one too. And pull this until it's tight enough. There. And then I'm gonna sew this together. And the same with the other side. And now we can go with the details. For the emblem, I'm just going to use a piece of cardboard because it's all I have. I made a template in paper. I'm gonna cut it out, draw it here and cut it again. And now we're just gonna glue it in place with hot glue. And we will be done. You just need the costume we just made, some thigh-high boots. I'm gonna use some double-sided tape to glue the bra part in place so it doesn't fall off. And then the accessories I'm gonna use are from Amazon. The contact lenses, the wig and the bracelets. For the fangs, I left you a tutorial here so you can check it up. And tomorrow I will take you with me in the behind the scenes of the photo shoot. Good morning! It's the day of the shooting <laughs> and I'm gonna freeze. Oh my god, I'm gonna freeze because it's like 5 degrees outside. <gasps> and now we're going shopping because I don't have nails <laughs> and I need them for the shooting. <sighs> this is gonna take me almost one hour. But yeah, let's run to the shop, get that stuff, get ready and pack the stuff that we need. So guys, as you can see, we kind of made it. We put some makeup and the nails. Although I'm not ready yet, I will finish getting ready in the location together with Yana. So yeah, I will see you there. Guys, I'm here with Yana. Finally, you know her. Of course you do. I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> We're on the way to the location, but look at that. It's full of ducks or goose. Look at that. Such a beautiful park for a creepy photo shoot. Sunny day for some deadly bloody Umbrella. vampire. <laughs> That's how we roll. <laughs> some behind the scenes. Beautiful Paula. The makeup is not done. We're getting. We're getting. We're getting there. Contact lenses are not cooperating. <laughs> nope. The last details, <laughs> and you will see in a bit the result. All right. So we took some pictures outside there. Um, we are at Jana's place, and we're gonna make cool pictures in the bathtub using these things to dye the water in red. <gasps> oh my God. <laughs> it looks like bloody. It does! <laughs> That's exactly what we need. So we're gonna shoot here and you will see the results in a second. And then, I mean, this looks so horrible right now and you will see the magic that she does. She looks Trust beautiful. Me. She's, I don't know what she's on about. So yeah, I mean, you will see the results in a second. Are you ready for the grand reveal? <laughs> for today's tutorial I hope you liked it if you did it helps me a lot if you like comment and subscribe you know how this works for any questions comments or requests hit me up in the comments below or in my Instagram Lil Monster DIY and don't forget to hit the bell button so you get a notification every time I post a new video and yeah that's it for today see you in the next video bye bye hey guys welcome back to my channel I have glasses on Looking for a model for a vampirella. Vampirella. So we are on the way back and I'm looking like this in the train. It's gonna be weird and it's night time. I'm not gonna lie, you know I love it. Also, <laughs> surprise. <laughs>